I got something to say. Uh, gather on, everybody. I'm going to make a toast to Archie. Yeah. 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 A toast for my daddy. It's been a great experience living on this street and watching this wonderful family of Edith, Gloria, and Mike. I want to thank you, Bunker, for letting me know and letting me see that uh, some white folks are better than other white folks. <laughs> I wish the whole world could learn that. <laughs> Archie, why don't you toast Henry now? All right, I will. Hey, you know, ain't nobody making no toast to my brother but me. Who the hell is that? That's Bob. Oh, oh, let me get that. Uh, get away from the door, meathead. Get over there. Get Archie, over there. Archie, let eat, me eat, eat it, eat it. Back, back. <laughs> I'll handle this. Hey, Jefferson, are you asking to come into my house? No, Bunker. I wouldn't come in there, not even if you got down on your hands and knees and sang man. <laughs> Hey, Jefferson, I don't blame your kid brother for leaving home. If I was your brother, I'd leave home, too. If you was my brother, I'd cut my throat. <laughs> if I was your brother, I'd give you the knife. <laughs> oh, come on here, Bob. Save your breath, Lionel. I wouldn't come in there if he was the last white man on earth. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I'm out. Look, you're on my stoop. That's the same as being in my house. Stoops don't count. Stoops always count. Stoops never count. Don't turn your back on me. Oh, there you are. Now <laughs> oh, you're in. You're in for sure. <laughs> so finally, the great Jefferson, who always reclined across my threshold, is into the house. All dude it up with a flower in his lapel there. Or is that one of them things that's squeaking your rod? No, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a fresh one every day. Ah, you don't blow money on a fresh flower every day. No, I steal one every day from a blind flower girl. Oh, he's joking. George, they don't know you here. He's joking. Oh, look, hello, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, hi, Mrs. Bunker. Hey, Jefferson there. How are you? Listen, that uh, formal invitation you sent by your wife, uh, I think that was very white of you. <laughs> That's exactly the way I felt when I did it. <laughs> George, why don't you take Archie over to the bar and offer him a drink? Hey, Jefferson. I seen you hosing down your porch yesterday. Oh, yeah? When am I going to see you hosing down yours? Bartender. <laughs> yes, sir. Give the man a drink, please. What'll it be, sir? Uh, whiskey. Any particular brand? Yeah, the expensive brand. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, sir? Scotch and soda, please. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Jefferson, there's a switch for you. This guy giving you the big yes, sir. Why, he's a bartender, ain't he? Yeah, but what I meant was I'm used to having it the other way around. Oh, yeah? How many servants you got in that mansion you living in? <laughs> well, so come down here. That don't sound like your voice, see? <laughs> no, Archie, we got company. Uh, so I see. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> well, take a look at this. It's a $20 bill. What'd you do, hit a number? <laughs> you gave me $20 when you picked up your cleaning just now, and I gave you $18 change. Well, I remember, so what? So my $18 was good. This 20 is counterfeit. What? Are you sure, George? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't sure. Look, I checked these serial numbers against our list. This is 89170412. These are counterfeit serial numbers. They sound like real numbers to me. <laughs> Let's just say you passed this phony on to me by accident. So now all you have to do is reach into your wallet and give me a real one on purpose. Listen, I ain't no counterfeiter. The $20 bill I gave you was perfectly good currency of the realm that was printed on 100% U.S. government realm. <laughs> Coffee, and uh, you can talk right here. I'll make some sandwiches, too. I'll see what we got. <laughs> you know something, Gloria? Suddenly I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. What too. is this, New Year's Eve? <laughs> I hope not. I'd hate to think I'd spend it with you. <laughs> yeah, Luis, he's here. Oh. 
Louise wants to know what happened to her chocolate cake. Oh, the cake, huh? Uh, tell Louise that George is over here trying to buy votes with it. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell him, Louise. Goodbye. Louise wants to see you back home right away. Imagine that. Only one day in politics, and already he's stealing and bribing. <laughs> and now he expects me to sign this here petition of his. Look, I hear you loud and clear, Bunker, and I don't need you anyway. <laughs> You ain't the only honk you on the beach. Why don't you show Mr. Jefferson your pants? Oh, yeah. Yeah. As long as you're over here, Jefferson, uh, maybe you could give me your professional opinion uh, on this here. It's a hole. <laughs> I wanted to know was how much you charged me to fix that hole. Well, a weaving job like that would run you about 12 bucks. That's more than I paid for the pants four years ago. In those days, holes were a lot cheaper, too. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this. The boss is delivering a cleaning in person. That's something new. Yeah, I figured I'd deliver that personally. Yeah. Here's your bill. That's $4.75 for the cleaning. That's the regular price, Jefferson, and look at this here. You didn't fix the hole in that. We had a deal, what happened? Your signature bounced, that's what happened. <laughs> How could his signature bounce? Because you're not a registered Republican. You're not a registered anything. When's the last time you voted, Bunk? It's against the law for you to ask me that. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for your phony signature. With it, we were able to obtain 25 more, which is more than we needed. Well, so I done you some good. So what about the family discount? That's only for registered Republicans. <laughs> Bunker, what is this world coming to? Beat me, Jefferson. All I got to say is, here's to yesterday. 